Hello and welcome to Crypto Tutorials. My name is Claudio and this is CryptoChain, the channel where I do crypto news, reviews, tutorials and interviews. And in today's tutorial, we'll take a look at the mobile app version of the Qcoin cryptocurrency exchange, also known as Binance's little brother, simply because they've been out since the end of 2017 uh, when the cryptocurrency boom started. And a lot of the cryptocurrency projects tend to list on Qcoin first before they list on Binance because they're much cheaper to list on. Those listing fees don't cost them as much. So you'll find a wide variety of cryptocurrency tokens and coins on Qcoin compared to Binance. And I do recommend them personally. I know that they can be trusted because I have been using them myself since 2017 and I haven't had any problems whatsoever to deposit and withdraw. But I do wanna let you know before we get in that this is not financial advice. I'm not a financial advisor. Please do your own research before you use any cryptocurrency exchange or even do any kind of investment whatsoever. And I also wanna let you know that this isn't a sponsor video. Do check the disclaimer in the description as well as for a link to the actual exchange in case you are interested to check it out and have a playthrough. But once you download the exchange, uh, the mobile application for the exchange, you should be welcomed with this screen that I've got here in front of me. And of course, after you're logging in, and here we can see all the different assets and we're actually on the main page of the wallet section, right? So there are different sections here. Now there is the trading section. If we go to the trading section, now we do need to actually transfer funds from the main wallet, okay? So when, you're, when you've got, for example, let's say you've got ontology coins in your cryptocurrency wallet. If you want to deposit them on the, on the exchange, you do have to go to the main uh, section here to deposit them by clicking on ONT. Okay, so for example, let me click on ONT here. This is the main account. There's the deposit, the transfer, and the withdrawal. So you do need to click on deposit, get the address, send the funds to this address, and then you need to click the transfer button. And once you transfer, you can actually transfer to the trading section, which is this tab here. And once they're on this section, you are able to use them for trading purposes. Now there is the margin section, which I don't recommend. You do need to enable it. It's not enabled by default. I don't recommend this because you can lose your money if you're not an experienced trader. So please stay away from this if you're new to trading. If you've got experience, of course, then feel free to use it. It's up to you. But like I said, I don't recommend it. There's the contract one as well here, uh, but it's not enabled by default. This is kind of for futures trading. So let's go to the main one again. And here we can see they've got a wide, wide range of tokens and coins here, right? They've got some of the famous ones like Aeon, Iargo, Algo. And then a lot of them, which we haven't even heard of, right? A Ava actually from Travala, we have heard of it. There is actually Bitcoin SV, which hasn't been delisted yet, right? That's actually on here, as you can see. Uh, BNB, they've got BNB, which is interesting too, because the BNB coin is actually uh, a Binance exchange coin, right? But it can be traded on here as well. So that is pretty cool. Of course, Bitcoin and all the other ones, right? So let's actually go to the contracts tab here. So this is for the futures. And here we can see the different pairs that they've got. Uh, there's the XBT USDM pair, and then there's XBT quarterly, and so on. So let's close out of this one here. Let's go to the trade section. So here is where we can see all the different uh, cryptocurrency trading pairs, right? So these are my favorite ones. Let's go to BTC. So here on the BTC ones, we've got a wide range of them, right? They've got the USD ones as well, and they've got the KCS ones, which stands for Qcoin shares. And it's actually the native token for Qcoin exchange, which is actually a token on the Ethereum blockchain for those that don't already know. So let's say, for example, I want to go on the uh, ontology one, right? So let me go to my favorites. Let me go to ontology. Uh, now there are different options here, right? So we do have the stop limit option. This is actually recently been introduced. Like when I say recently, I'm talking just over six months or seven months because they weren't actually, uh, they didn't have this option available until a recent upgrade of their exchange. Uh, now there is the limit option, right? So limit orders work the same as on any other exchange. You can place, for example, the order that you want to buy it at. So for example, let's say you want to buy it at 62 50 because you think the price is going to drop that low. You, let's say you want to buy 500 ONT. It gives you the estimated value there on the bottom left-hand corner. There you can see 312 USDT. 
and so on and then you can just click buy and then it'll place your buy order and that may fill when the price drops or you can buy into the lowest sell order which is the one in red and it'll automatically fill, fill, fill that but it depends because as you can see bots are constantly moving the price right so maybe it's not going to fill straight away but it usually does right if you buy into the lowest sell order so that's how it works there um, let's actually go to the graph too. So we can actually see the graph here on the ontology USDT pair. So this is the eight hour chart. We can go to the one day chart, for example. So it shows us the graph here. Now we don't get that many options on the mobile version. You do actually need to use the desktop version if you want to see um, a more detailed chart, but for basic charting purposes, you can actually use the mobile version too, right? And this is best used just to actually check the current price and see how you're doing. Um, let's go to the market section here. So again, the market's exactly the same. You can choose between the different pairs. Okay, and then we've got the home section here. So here in the home section, you do actually have the option to buy with fiat. So Qcoin have recently introduced that. Uh, the margin trade, which I said I don't recommend unless you're an experienced trader. There's the Qcoin bonus one, which is if you refer other people and they trade, you get a small bonus uh, from their commission. So from the commission fees, a small bonus goes to the referred person. And then we can see all the different pairings here. Again, the top gainers and the top losers. So they've actually done a good job here to separate them right from this point of view. That is pretty cool, right? So some of them have actually really pumped a lot here. We can see 77% up in the last... Uh, 24 hours a lot of these are actually pump and dumps to be honest and, and we can even see the volume right the volume is only two two bitcoin so the volume is much much lower than on binance for example if you compare it to binance right you'll see that but i will be doing a review on binance as well on the mobile app so that you can kind of compare the two and see uh, which one looks cooler and this is more for people that are new to cryptocurrencies and aren't really sure which is which right but this is pretty much it i hope you enjoyed the video I'd like to thank you very much for watching and please don't forget to like the video if you enjoyed. Thank you. Thank you very much for watching once again and I'll see you in my next video. Take care. Bye-bye.